Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today it is time for the perfect pressure washer free wash from Bowden Zone. So this is going to be featuring their brand new product, Wet Dreams. So Bowden's actually reached out to me and sent me that one after seeing the last video of me using Happy Ending. Um, so I'm going to be doing a wash today. All those products there can be used without a pressure washer. And I know a lot of people don't have access to a pressure washer. So the purpose of this video is I have one of my friend's cars here. I'm going to be doing a full exterior wash with the, um, the products there and showing you guys how you can clean the car without a pressure washer and still get that awesome finish. So you can see here, the wheels are a bit dusty. I've uh, got some nice slotted rotors there and you can see there's a nice bit of brake dust built up. You got mud, there's a bit of mud throughout the body. So this is the perfect starting base for us to give it a clean. So obviously we start off here with wheelie clean. So we'll just give this a few sprays on these chrome outer loops. This bottle's starting to get empty, but I'll do have some more. Try and coat the whole thing. As you can see there, automatically it's flaring up and reacting with the, the brake dust. Back wheels here. They're not too bad. Down to this side. And then one last time on this side. There's a bit more on this side, so should get a bit of a nice reaction going. I do like to go pretty heavy with this stuff, so there you go. If we come back around to this side, I'm sure, holy, have a look at that. All of that glorious brake dust just being slowly eaten off. So now, let's grab the bucket. Got my wheel bucket here. I've uh, got the nice flat up wheel there. So just like normal, I'll get my brush out. So that's all done. Now let's give that a bit of a quick rinse down. And you can see that amazing finish in the end there. So I'll go do all four and then I'll get back to you guys. Okay guys, so I have all the wheels done. You can see all nice and clean. Uh, now I've got the rinse bucket with my tool in it ready to go. Also got the wash bucket, of course. Got the grip guards down the bottom as well to help keep the, uh, most of the contaminants out of they basically, the grit guard basically sets everything at the bottom. I also, in the wash bucket, I've got one cap full of the Nanolicious wash in there. Um, so the first thing we're going to do to act before we actually touch the paint is obviously we don't have a snow foam or anything like that when we're doing a wash without a pressure cleaner. So we get out the hose and we just want to soak the whole car basically. Okay, so I have the whole car soaked. What I want to do is grab my wash tool here, wring it out in the rinse bucket, come over here, get it all nice and sudsed up. And obviously just start at the top and I'm working my way down washing it or oh, rinsing the tool out as need be go. now we'll give it a rinse out Rub it against the grip guard down the bottom there. And you can see there that this shaggy thing is the name of it. Absolutely awesome wash tool. And I know for a fact they're working on bringing out a, a wash mitt equivalent of it. But you can see it absolutely loves holding the suds and getting rid of it. So. I'll do the whole car and I'll cut back to you guys at the next stage. Okay guys, so I've given this thing the full uh, wash there with the, the Nanolicious wash and obviously my rinse bucket. And now you can see I'll wash it, rinse it all down, but you can see this paint's pretty flat. Like, I wash, put the water on the top there and it kind of just sits there, nothing really happens, you can see. Same as if I put it on the door there, you know, nothing really happens, it kind of just sits there. So basically, we've got over here from Bowden's, the brand new product, Wet Dream. So it's basically, as you can see there, super hydrophobic, really easy to apply, really easy uh, to increase your 
it's like gloss factor from the paint as well. Obviously, silver is a bit different. You're not going to see too much. Obviously, if it was my red Rex there, it'd probably show a bit more gloss. But this was the perfect uh, car to demonstrate on because the paint was just so flat in most sections of the car. So how we do this is we actually get a big softy. So we just grab the big softy here and what we want to do is grab the uh, towel. Oh, sorry, towel. Big softy towel and your hose. And just rinse it out here. You want to make it fairly damp. Just put it on damp. That's just how you want it there. And then you just wring it out like this. Okay. So. Yeah, a tiny bit more. Okay, so now we've got our damp big softy. We want to grab wet dreams. Come over here. I'll set you guys down just here where you can get a view. So what we want to do is grab the wet dreams here and actually just spray it on the panel just like this. Now it is really important that the panel is wet and cold to touch. You do that, just grab your damp big softy here and you just want to wipe the product in, just like this. I should also note how good this product smells. Wow, okay. Now, you just grab the hose and rinse it off. And as you can see there, the enormous difference. This stuff's made straight away. Oh wow, look at that. So if I go there, you can see the difference in what happens with the water. Just dry, there's a bit of water on the camera. You can see how good this stuff is there. Wow, look at that. Okay, so now you just want to go panel by panel. Do this, it's good for all your windows and everything. So I'll just go panel by panel, do the whole car. I'm about to lose all daylight, but you guys can see the paint is looking on point to the fact that you can see the reflection of the water in it. It's looking really good. I just finished the whole car. Now what we're gonna do is get the, the hose and do the classic sheet. So we'll just pop that down there. Come back to the top here. And we'll see how this stuff sheets off. Because yeah, beads are cool, but they're no good when you're drying. Look at that, and look at that glow. The paint is glowing. There. Look at that. Just drying themselves, those doors. Let's get the bonnet in there. All gone, look at it. Absolutely perfect. So, once you sheet this one down, which I'm just gonna do now, what we want to do is just like last time we get out our big green sucker which is the Bowden's microfiber drying towel now uh, now we just get that out get out the boss gloss which is the um the drying agent they recommend to use with this product uh, and then you just lather up fill up this one and then as easy as coming over straight on the paint, we'll start with the bonnet because it's the easiest and all you're doing is wiping this over and you can see there it just slides grabs all the water and leaves an absolutely perfect finish Looks absolutely amazing. Like it's not very bright now, but you can still see the sun reflecting into that silver bonnet there. So I'm gonna go ahead and dry the uh, dry the rest of the car. But because I'm about to lose all the light, I'll finish this one up for you guys. So let me grab the product over here. You've got wet dreams there. So this has been my video on how to do a really good wash without a pressure washer, which just proves that you don't need a pressure washer to do a good wash. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave a link to the product Wet, End oh, Wet Dreams down below. Be sure to check it out. And yeah, thanks guys. Uh, make sure you drop a like. It helps other people see the video and subscribe. 
thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Leave a comment if there's anything that you want me to um, record, any kind of stuff that you want to see. But yeah, thanks. Peace.